Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujit Blitz and we're going back to the replays from you, the subs, this time all in the high tiers and kicking us off is the Scarecrow 2018 from the clan J4F, rolling out in the FV4004 Conway, the British tier 9 TD. On the EU server, I admit I love the Conway, I mean it's a fantastic tank. And if you ever watch Skate's video on this when it first came out, he recommends not using the big derpy gun, mainly because it reduces the load time and you still get some really good damage coming out of it. Nevertheless, the Scarecrow 2018 here is using the big derpy gun. And to be fair, it is a nice gun. Either gun is good. The difference between the two realistically is that massive air load time. So as you can see, he's already done 629 damage. It's the start of the game. The thing about the Conway is, yeah, it's still a TD and it's still got a very thin hull. But look at the gun on this thing. I mean, that's almost 600 damage. So he's done 1,200 now in just two shots. I mean, it's fantastic. As I was saying, it's still got a relatively weak hull. So it still needs to go hull down like all British mediums because effectively it is based on a British tank. The thing about it is the gun is just fantastic and if you stick this thing in the right place and you can because you've got a, a fully rotating turret not a fixed casemate if you get it in the right place you can do things like that and knock out 633 into the back of that poor IS in fairness to the Scarecrow, he's playing the tank exactly how it should be played. He's using the mobility and the gun to maximum effect. Hello, smack you a bit more. Now he's done 2,422. And I think he's fired, what, four shots? I mean, this is just how the Conway likes to be. And this is a tricky map for a TD. Oh, that was a miss. Himmelsdorf has always been a tricky map for a TD because it's very flat, so you, you don't really get those elevated positions. But it is ideal for a hull down tank because you can stick it in places like this. And as you can see there, he's just bounced 340 from the IS and oh dear, the IS is gone. There is a waffle tractor down there though, and he's got to be careful of that. Can he get a shot in over there? No, it's a bit too tricky. Oh, that one didn't bounce, 397 into his turret, but he's bounced 340. He's trying to cap out on the B cap here, which is a sensible thing to do as he's near the cap, and he can't really push the Waffle Tractor just yet. He needs to wait for some support. The Tiger 2 is now gone, but the AMX-30 is with him. He's kicked it on AP, but it doesn't matter. He takes out the Waffle Tractor, 2,855, plus he's capped two bases, I think. So he's on for a lot of XP here. There's only two tanks left. There's an IS over there. Can we smack him? No, he's around the corner. And, oh, no, he's going to present. Maybe, maybe, no, no, maybe, maybe. Yes, he does. And that was a big hash round straight into the front of him. That was a really good shot. Now he's up to 3,082 damage. One tank left. They're going to win on cap points at this rate anyway. Hello, it's another IS. <laughs> ISs are everywhere. Um, poor thing. I mean, oh, he, he blooded his nose a bit there, though. But I mean, I feel sorry for the poor IS8 nowadays. It's not the tank it used to be. It's a little bit uh, out of its depth. It does struggle in its tier. But the Scarecrow is going to put more pain to this poor IS8 in a moment. There we go. 4,402 damage. Four kills, caps two bases, bounces 340, gets a well-deserved mastery. And it was a ratings battle, so he gets 78 ratings points, which is really well-deserved. I'd like to thank the Scarecrow of J4F for kindly sharing that replay. It was a well-deserved mastery, mate. Next up, we got Ryu Hoshoshi of the clan ITRPS. Um, now, I apologize if my pronunciation of your name is really bad. I'm just going to call you Ryu. I hope you don't mind. He's rolling out in a very tricky tank, the Leopard PTA, the German Tier 9 medium tank on the Asian server. The PTA, bless it, is a tricky tank. 
it's it's a very very challenging tank to get to grips with but if you can master this thing and you can understand how this thing works boy you can have a barrel of fun the only problem with the leo pta in real terms is if you're running it stock like most tier nines stock this tank is truly truly terrible it's not a fun tank and you really need to upgrade that gun and that uh, armor turret sooner rather than later before that it's very very tricky indeed now Rue is in a very tricky game it's a tier 9 tier 10 game although there's only one two tier 10s it's still tricky the thing about the leo pta much like its tier 10 counterpart it does have a fantastic gun if you've got the big gun He's already done 812 damage, not much, not going to set the world on fire with that. It has good mobility. It does have a fantastic long range ability, to be perfectly honest with you. And I do like both the Leo 1 and the Leo PTA, despite the fact they're incredibly challenging. Because they're paper thin, armor wise, there is nothing. And, you know, I, I, you can smack these things with HE on the back. On the side and on the back and i'm really really cause them a lot of aggro and that's the thing about these leos this is why you've got to be careful with them as you can see he's already losing hit points he's done 1500 damage he hasn't taken any kills yet but he's being a nuisance which is exactly what you should be in a medium you should be a nuisance now a lot of people think that because you've got a turn of speed you should be on the front line spotting everything and running around like a completely demented fool that is not true. And this is where a lot of people become unstuck. I mean, that's a great shot there into the Jaeger Roo. 2,282 damage all of a sudden. And in fairness, this is how the Leo PTA should be played. Hiding and then peek booming He's behind sensible cover. He's not taking unnecessary risks in real terms. And he's playing the tank how it should be played. Now, because it's like what? Well, five against two he's able to push the 103 it would have been nice if he had a bit more support from his team but they've gone the other way to take out the object which is understandable both one shots yes 3528 and three kills that is a fantastic mastery and a great replay from rue in the leo pta a tank that's tricky and difficult at the best of times but if you play it like that boy you can have a shed load of fun now last but by no means least we have x420 sarah 420x of the clan punex rolling out in the object 263 the russian tier 10 td again on the eu server this is not as preferred by a lot of players of the object 268 but a oh boy what a tank this is it's got a great gun really good reload i mean look at that seven seconds to reload this thing and massive massive frontal armor okay sides and back are pretty weak but frontally i mean this thing is just a colossal beast i mean look at that she's already bounced 640 knocked out 570 look at the reload another 518 into the front of that t30 with this reload and again boom tank gone 1171 already hello coming on then little medium tank yep yeah, bouncy it's a t54 so it's it's a bit you know she's bullying a bit but look at this I mean, it's a fantastic tank and when you play it like this and you know that the armor on the front is so trolly boy you can really cause a lot of pain i think the t54 is about to go oh no just tracks in that's a bad bad rng on looking but bounce anyway so bounced 1500 dished out just shy of 3000 i mean wow this is how you play the 263 and you know for those people who struggle in this tank just remember frontally this thing is rock solid it is very difficult to pen it side and back as i said very easy but frontally wow and with a gun this fantastic i mean what more could you ask for in a td look at that <laughs> i mean that looked like an impossible shot but it wasn't <laughs> just brilliant that is a fantastic shot now this poor t92 is in a world of pain as you can see 
T92 has gone. 3,637. Bounced 1,570. Killed three already. There's a 183. Hello, 183. We're going to make our way around to you. And we're going to give you some well-deserved pain up the backside. Here we go. Boom. There's 540. Level up. Stop you getting that gun around a little bit. No, good move, but you still can't get me. Another 485. Face on now. Is he going to be able to pen? He's still loading. He ain't going to out derper there. Bam. Four kills. 4,720 damaged. No more bounces. <laughs> this is how you play the 263. I mean, it's a lovely tank once you get used to it. And once you realise it's it's so difficult to pen frontally. Okay, that one penned. But it's the WZ. 1111 <laughs> I mean, the 263. Wow. I mean, look at that. Another bounce. 458 in. So it's 5,602 damage. 1,960 blocked. And kill number 5. Only one left. The jaeger uh, Is she going to be able to get there in time? 6,054 damage. I mean, wow. Can she get there in time? Can she kill the jaeger before the T-62 does it? It's two on one and the 62 gets it. What a game. Wowzers. I mean, that is a, a truly fantastic replay in a tricky tank. 6,054 dished out. Five kills. Bounce just shy of 2,000. I mean, wow, that is a well-deserved mastery. And I'd like to thank X420, Sarah 420X of Punix for kindly sharing her replay. In fact, I'd like to thank everybody. That goes out to Rue uh, from the agent server in the Leo PTA and to my friend, the Scarecrow 2018 from the clan J4F. Guys, without your replays, obviously these videos wouldn't exist. So. By all means, guys, comment, like, and everything below. If you haven't yet, press that subscribe button. It's a lovely thing to do. Costs you nothing. Puts a smile on my face. Got any decent replays? Wing them across to me. Fujitsblitz at gmail.com. Or post them to my Discord server. And as I say, read normally, which is more poignant now in view of the coronavirus. Guys, really, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield. And happy tanking. Because that really is what it's all about, having fun and being happy.